What's up, guys? It's me, HTG Brian, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty excited. I got some more Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga for you. This is the Porg Patrol Challenge. That's right. This is going to yield us five Kyber bricks, and it's scattered all throughout the galaxy. In fact, there are 20 different locations that we are going to fly to and uh, drop in and free some Porgs. That's right. No Porg stew today, peoples. No Porg. We're going to free them all. So if you've been following along, you probably already know this. We do have quick links down below in the video description, and I highly recommend you use them. All right, let me uh, go ahead and get us caught up here. Basically, we just got done taking down all of the capital ships. In fact, the Venator was our final one. And you can see here we got all eight of eight. Now we're going to go ahead and pull up our menu here. Uh, any second, Brian? Okay, okay, here we go. Pull up our menu and toggle on over to our challenge tab, or missions, I guess it's called, and scroll all the way down to challenges. And we're going to look at the Porg Patrol. And on our count, we've got zero of 20. And for 30,000 studs, we can actually unlock all 20 locations. So here's the thing. These guys did a pretty uncool job of scattering these out. So you can see, like, there's a few different Tatooines, but they're all scattered. They're not back to back. So here's the deal. We've caught some flack, or I guess should say we've gotten some recommendations from you guys that we follow the order of the in-game lists and not our own, which would have been, like, handling all of Tatooine at once and then moving on to another planet. So what we're going to do is bounce back and forth based on the list of how they are supposed to be or expected to be captured. And the first one's going to be Cantonica, Canto Bite. Now you can see down in the middle, we actually have not only the planet, but the location itself in case there is more than one landing place. And we also have the hidden Porg number down in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, just be aware, too, that the number up on the top left side there that sh shows 0 of 20 right now is always going to be a little behind or one behind, it should be, uh, for each one of these. So right now we're looking for one, but we got zero, right? Zero. So we're going to follow the old waypoint marker. That's something I should probably note as well. If you select the challenge and highlight it, Porg Patrol, you can see it up in the upper left-hand corner. We've got it selected. It's going to guide you to each, not only the planets, but the location. However, <laughs> however, it doesn't actually take you to the Porg itself. It sort of gives you a hot zone or a search area, if you will. And uh, that's where we come in. We're going to go ahead and guide you right to those. So the search is very minimal, if any. In fact, some of them, though, as you can see there, that one actually kind of uh, noted it until we got close to it. But it's up there. It's gold. And uh, the way this is going to work, we're going to pull up our map once we get to the actual location and so show you where it is. So you might uh, might scroll ahead a little bit for each one. I don't know. It's up to you how you guys want to view but uh, honestly, I think if you use the Pork Patrol selection from the menu, as you can see, we've got it highlighted. And uh, you just follow the waypoint markers. It should be pretty easy. But Hidden Porg number two is actually going to be found in Bespin over on Cloud City. So if you've been following along with our videos, this is basically the home stretch. You've already conquered every area and done all the things except for the Porgs. We also have to find some Wookiees. We have a couple of other odds and ends that we need to wrap up. So that's what we're doing right now. So uh, this should all just sort of be uh, revisited visiting the areas and hopefully they look familiar some of them have been quite a while for me and to be honest with you i'd kind of forgotten where some of these places were uh like uh dragon snake bog like that was one that i hadn't been to in a hot second but uh, some of them we traveled to quite a bit coruscant was one we frequented throughout the free roamage bouncing back and forth on off planetary stuffs but you know some of them it's been a while all right, we're going to take a familiar route. In fact, uh, getting the data card and some other things in this area, we actually took this same route, except for uh, instead of hanging right and doing a grapple up to the top right there, we're actually going to keep on keeping on and get all the way to this back corner where there's a hidden ladder. It's not really hidden, but it's sort of in the dark, so sort of shady, if you will. <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead and jump all the way up top. You can already see the gold icon up there. It's kind of a dead giveaway, if I'm being honest. And it's a little bit of a funny angle, so we'll go ahead and step away and take a quick peek at our map, of course, to show you where it is. And then we'll get our blast on. Now, for some reason, I was having some weird aiming issues with my blaster today. I don't know if that's something that user error could attribute to or what, but uh, it seemed to be like a little bit of stick drift, even though there's no stick drift. I don't know. Weird. All right, Porg number three. We're going to head on over to Crate and uh, check out the old Crate Outpost. 
This one, a little fun fact for you as we're uh, going to go ahead and bounce from one planet to the next. Keep in mind, too, we have removed all of the loading screens in between the planetary travel. So if it seems like we're going a little bit faster, we are. And it's only because we just edited that travel sequence out. Because I know not all of you need all the Borgs and not all of you want to watch them all. But anyways, we, we tried to speed up a little bit. Now, as soon as we arrive, we're going to head over onto the left, head up the ladder, follow the waypoint marker. But back to my story. Uh, when I played this on the free roam, I got all the way to the final Kyber Brick, and I used the force push with one of my characters and destroyed a bunch of red crystals, and it actually freed the Porg, as you'll see here in a hot second. Look at that. We've got a Porg hiding under the stairwell there. He's kind of hard to see, but I promise you he is there. Go ahead and throw a thermal grenade, thermal grenade, thermal detonator, grenade, uh, or just blast away this the stuffs. And look at that. I got to clear a pathway there. And there he is. He's out of here. So I had to replay this entire area because I didn't want to ring that pork off. And it was just really awkward. I had no way to edit it and make it work. So I replayed that whole level to do that. And now I knew exactly where that one was. So, all right. Hey, I was just talking about all Dagobah. We're going to go ahead and check out hidden pork number four over on Dragon Snake bog and uh we'll go ahead and this one's actually one of the easier ones in fact on my ps4 go while i was trudging around doing the scouting of this area way 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 back when i accidentally got the porg but luckily old man brian brain actually remembered where it was and thanks to the old waypoint marker it guided me towards that area anyways kind of hard to miss it's right up on the tree up high, and look at that. Boyaka shao. Oh, yeah, don't shoot the porg. Shoot the web, Brian. Come on. A little uh, porg damage there. We'll go ahead and see him. Look, he bounces off. Ooh, I see. We'll be back for that mouse droid, too. <laughs> Do you see him in the background there? That porg was heading right for him. All right, porg number five. We're actually going to take off and head on over to Endor. And check out the Ewok Village, another place we haven't been to for quite a while. Now, this one, once we land here, we're going to go ahead and follow the waypoint marker over to the left-hand side. This one's kind of tricky as it is inside one of the tree, like, centers. So some of them have some, like, rooms inside. And we'll go ahead and wrap around here and look inside and look at that. Oh, no, they are trying to make pork stew. Like, I wasn't kidding when I made that joke at the beginning. Some are trying to legit cook our fellow porgs. Get out of here, kid. You're free. You're free. All right. So, uh, I mean, I could go free porgy, free porgy. Doesn't have the same feel, though. It's freely, freely, right? Anyways, pork number six. We're going to head on over to Coruscant. This is one of those places where it has multiple destinations but we're only going to pick off one right now because that's what the list asked for again i'm not sure why they didn't include them together when you're on the planet uh, it's just a weird thing and feel free to use the quick links if you want to jump ahead like and do the other coruscant stuff while you're here in fact i think it's the last one the uskru district in fact is the last one um, so, you know, it's up to you how you want to take on these tasks. We're going to jump from planet to planet and follow the list order, though. I know it's kind of a bummer, but we're trying to make good on some previous uh, choices, right? So uh, hoping that this one will settle better with y'all. All right. It feels more natural. Anyways, that, that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping that it feels more natural. All right. All the way at the end of this long uh, little shopping mall area, we're going to go ahead and sneak inside the right far door and there's some gold that you need to melt so use your favorite bounty hunter and next up we're gonna head on over to yavin 4 the great temple now this one's kind of tricky too because once we get there the waypoint marker wants us to go inside the temple and kind of does this zigging and zagging and all the way around and it takes a while now I've got a little shortcut for you, so good thing you're following along here as we are going to go ahead and hang a right turn, a hard right turn, outside of the temple, and then hang a quick left around the edge, and you should find a giant ladder. In fact, this might be the world's longest ladder. I'm going to try to do a jump to climb, and hoo hoo hoo, nailed it. Sometimes I miss that, and I have to uh, ask myself, do you even ladder, bro? Not this time. We got it. But, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and make our way up here. I wasn't kidding. Longest ladder ever. Once we get up to the top, though, it's hard to miss. The Porgy is just hanging out. We'll go ahead and take a quick peek on the map just in case you were a lust. And up 
Oopsie daisy. Oh, booyah, kashow. All right, port number seven is freed and out of here. All right, I don't know where he went. He sort of just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that splat was too much for him. It's a long way down. Watch out. All right, next up, we're heading to Naboo. We're going to go take a quick dip in Lake Payonga. After I have a quick uh, locational crisis here, in fact, I think I was trying to edit that out, but if I'm being honest, I've already documented the quick links and everything, so uh, we'll just go ahead and let that ride. Okay, so here we are on Naboo Lake Payonga. In fact, we're going to actually make a break right for the underworld. And this one is one of the trickier ones in the sense that it's sort of tucked up under the walkway. So the GPS, GPS, easy for me to say, waypoint marker is actually very accurate, but it's a funny angle, so you don't get to see it. And if you try to go down, it'll lead you back up top. So it's this is kind of one of those confusing ones. I feel like all the challenges or free roams have like one or two puzzles that actually really sort of require some assistance. Otherwise, you could spend quite a bit of time running around trying to figure it out. But what we're going to do is follow the waypoint marker till we get to that point. We're going to look down below and drop down onto a ledge and look back up. And boy, you can shout. See, look at that. He's just hanging out quite literally. And he is not... Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm not sure what was up with that. He was just chilling. Apparently, I spooked him. But uh, again, run, son, you're free. And we are out of here. Next up, we're heading on over to Tatooine, to the Jundlin Wastes for Porg number nine. Now, again, Tatooine, couple places, not all captured right now. So it's up to you if you guys want to trudge around. And head on over next door after we get done here. Or if you want to jump planets and head out to, uh, I believe the next place we go is Kashyyyk. Like how I emphasize the whys. Why did I do that? Well, because there's a lot of them. <laughs> oh, Brian. Bad, bad, bad dad jokes. All right. I'll boo myself. And here in a minute, I'll see myself out. But I got to finish guiding you to the next stuff. So we'll go ahead and get this done first. And I'll try to minimize my... <laughs> My humor or lack thereof, depending on where your stance is. All right, Waypoint Marker follows us all the way, or I guess we follow it all the way up to a camp. Up at the very top in the middle of the camp, you're going to find... Uh-oh, that's right. They're trying to make some porg stew. One of these times, I think we hop in. I, I guess, I, actually, it's on Kashyyyk. Uh, we'll go ahead and bust this open. Not today. No porg stew for you. I'll go ahead and jump for joy, pull up. I don't know why it always takes us to the mission tab. I think it's because we have a mission selected. That's kind of awkward, but uh, I'll, I'll address that, you know, and make sure that... <laughs> Anyways, moving along to Kashyyyk. That's right, Kachiro, Kakairo, however you say it. We'll go ahead and put our boots on the ground, and we're actually going up almost straight ahead of us up into one of those upper areas. In fact, it's got a kind of nice view up there. A wonderful place for a hot tub, but as we already know, the intentions are not great once they put that poor... It's not a hot tub. <laughs> uh, it's about to be hot soup or stew, I guess. So we'll make it all the way up following... Uh, this is one of the longer paths. In fact, um, there is a uh, one of the... I guess, I don't know. There's a couple that are pretty long. Coruscant's got some long ones. Uh, this I, this one might take the cake, though. Uh, but good news is we get lots of studs. Bad news is we have really no need for any more at this point as we've got over 13 billion, and you're probably somewhere in that vicinity if you've been following along with us. Eventually, we make it all the way up. we got to make a nice jump out here, and like I said, they're trying to make pork stew. Let's go ahead and hop in. Oh, hey, how's it going? Come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> all right, up at the top, we'll go ahead and hop out. I guess you can't bust it from the inside, so, uh, yep. Oh, sorry about that. My bad. Go ahead and bust it open, and he is... Okay, there he is. Pew! Ain't nothing faster than pew! He is out of here. And next up, we're actually going to take off and head on over to Taco Donna. That's right. It's Maz's Castle time. So we'll go ahead and try and find that on the old map of Rainy here. There we go. And we are off. Did you see that little... Uh, the Wookiee was a Wookiee. And officially land here. We're actually going to turn a U-E here. That's right. Bust the old U-turn. Make sure you look both ways before making it happen. There is going to be a Porg hiding up on a cliffside way back over. We actually found a data card out here. 
And I think there was another mission as well when we were free roaming. And you may or may not have taken this guy out already. But this is going to flip us over to the second half. As you can see, we've already got 10 of 20. Ooh, number 11. We're officially on the downhill slide. Okay, okay. I do believe next up we are going to take a little trip over to the mining complex, which can be found, oh, look at that, in Mustafar. Or Mustafar? Uh, how, however you pronounce that. There's a couple of them that are sort of questionable, and we've mentioned this a couple of times, too. And throughout the Star Wars series, they actually pronounce different things differently. Like, in some of the movies, Han is Han, and others, he's Han. You know, the, there's the Millennium Falcon and the Millennium Falcon. Like, there's differences throughout, so I, I, I'm guessing that their goal in doing that was either A, they realized they made a huge mistake and tried to change it and try to pretend like nobody would notice, or B, the more likely result, that they were just showing that there isn't any one way. It's kind of like that old saying, tomato, tomato, right, kind of thing. So uh, depending on where you're from, there may be a little bit different uh, slang or spin on it. So uh, sometimes I get totally... Uh, jumped on for saying something wrong. And sometimes I deserve it, right? Sometimes I nail... I, I think my, my most infamous fail was I just don't have a lot of uh, knowledge outside of my own little circle here in, in Salem, Oregon. So uh, when I went to uh, the Doctor Who stuff and I went to the Palace of Versailles, I referred to it as the Palace of Versailles, <laughs> which is terrible. Totally wrong. That's not a tomato tomato. That's wrong. <laughs> but, you know, Mustafar, Mustafar, you know, you could go either way. All right, follow the waypoint marker all the way up the stairs. And notice, too, as you shoot the Porg, he collects that purple stud for you. That's actually pretty epic. So thanks for that. And we are going to blow out of this mining complex and head on over to what? Mos Eisley. So we're skipping Mos Espa on... See, this is where I sort of question the choice of the order. And honestly, uh, you know, again, quick links for the win. <laughs> That's all I can keep saying. Once we get here, though, we're actually going to follow the waypoint marker. You got it all the way down and around. This one's kind of tricky. We get to the targeting or the shooting gallery, if you will. Uh, it's a giant blue target. And what we're going to do is actually turn around and look in a little alcove. And tucked in there, it's it's like a, it's a little tricky. In fact, shady again as it's sort of in the shadows. So there's the old target. We'll go ahead and make a quick left over into this small little walkway. Take a quick peek at the map just to ensure you know where we is. And, of course, God, let's see here. I'm trying to Rocky Balboa him, but it's not working. So we'll go ahead and pew, pew. All right, bye. He's out of here. And we'll get a couple jumps for uh, celebratory there. And next up, guess what? We are out of here. Nope, we're actually heading to Mos Espa. What? So, again, not quite sure why the order was chose to be this way. We're just following the list, man. We're just following the list. But uh, after a quick taxi... We go ahead and find ourselves in Mos Espa. So uh, just note that this is the one area that doesn't display on screen, which actually made me think, you know what? I should probably put the location uh, down below in the middle. So hopefully that was a nice addition, and we'll be doing that on the Wookiees challenge as well as the Mouse Droid one too because they're scattered throughout. Speaking of scattered throughout, we're going to go ahead and follow. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, that waypoint marker again. Once we get to this archway here, we're actually going to kind of lean to the left, the old Han Solo trick here, go right in between all these little apartments, and on the hard left side, kind of almost another U-turn, we're going to find number 14. So uh, we'll go ahead and free him from his webbing, and uh, he's out of here. And just like us, we are out of here too. So next up, we got Jaku. Bless you. Uh, heading over to Nima Outpost. That's right. And uh, once we land here, you guys probably ran into this one. In fact, I'm sure you did. It's down in the marketplace, and he's just trapped in a gold cage. So, of course, he's going to need the help of a bounty hunter again to melt that gold. 
But if you're doing this challenge and you're not aware of how to melt gold, you're probably way ahead of yourself. So uh, definitely make sure that you're, you know, our best suggestion is to follow our playlist. Uh, that's going to help you get the most efficient route. Now, you know, sometimes people like to do things a little differently or freely, and that's totally okay, too. But if you're looking for efficiency, the playlist is the way to be. All right, here we go. In the marketplace, right in the front left side here, we're going to find Booyah Kashao, Porg number 15. Get out of here, kid. Get out of me. All right, next up, Porg number 16. We're heading on over to Taka. That's right. Taqua. Another one of those uh, <laughs> choose how to say it things. And uh, this one's pretty easy, too. We're actually going to head off of the little ramp here and bust into the first left bunker. And on the back right wall of that bunker is going to be the Porg. This one is one of those ones that's pretty hard to miss, too, as there's a challenge in this area. And uh, I had to work really hard not to get it. You know, I run around, push force on everything, collecting studs, because that's an easy way. You don't really lose momentum of your run, and you get to collect a lot as you go. Um, and and that one was one that ugh, it was a little, uh, little sketch. So uh, hopefully you know right where this is if you didn't already get it. Pretty easy. Pretty easy find. It doesn't get much easier than that. All right, next up, we are out of here, heading to Ajon Klaas, the resistance camp. So sort of the north side of the galaxy. Again, we be zigging, we be zagging, but we just follow on that list. And uh, speaking of zigging and zagging, as soon as we get here, we got to go up a ramp that does a little bit of zigging and a little bit of zagging. And eventually we get all the way to the top of the cliffside, and the porg is hiding up top. Sort of simple to find, but all right, make your way around the ship, and right behind it should be a nice walkway up. Again, that that waypoint marker is going to do a phenomenal job of guiding us. And like I said, we did a little zigging, we did a little zagging, a little, oh, another zagging, followed by another zig. <laughs> all right, and as you get about 10 meters or so out, you should see him up at the top of the cliff there, hanging out. Now, before we get too close and personal, we'll go ahead and pull up the map, give you a quick peek. And Booyah Kusho, get on out. All right, so number 18, where do you think it's going to be? Oh, psych, you already seen it, cheater. It's Geonosis. It's the Stalgason Hive. We'll go ahead and get a quick dip over here. This is another one of those Insta U-turns. As soon as we gain control of our characters, we're actually going to turn around and run up and around this hillside. And eventually we get to another cliff, and guess what? Porgy's just hanging out. All right, so here we go. U-turn commenced. Up the hill we go. And boy, you can shout. You can already see him. In fact, this is one of those ones where the star literally shows you where it is until you get close to it, and then it disappears. That's weird how that works. Or does it? No, this one just... Oh, yep, look at that. You get 10 meters in. <laughs> All right, take a quick peek up there, and boy, you can show. All right, Porg 18. So we only got two more. All right, next up, back to Jaku. Bless me. Uh, we're actually going to take on the Tawano Village, which, man, that would have been sort of poetic had this have been the last challenge and the last part, last Porg of the challenge. Because we started our free roam with Jaku Tawano Village. So if this would have been the last task of the Porg Patrol, challenge on the last cha uh, but it didn't work out that way that would have been extra poetic this one's actually one of the trickier ones we're going to use a uh, jet packer to go ahead and double jump well let's try that again brian double jump onto this little house here or the hut and we'll do the same thing to get up onto the roof and then again out to this plank here now this gives us a phenomenal view if you're having troubles getting up on this there is definitely a view to see it over on the left before you jump over here on that hut, you can actually see it, too. I probably should have just shot it from there, but it's just such a great view up here. Guess what? Last but not least, number 20. It happens to be back in Coruscant, the Uskru district. And, and if I'm being honest, this one, actually, I messed up on. So uh, I, I get lost for, I don't know, just a microsecond. I run down, and I actually, I think I know where I'm going, but then it doesn't spawn where I'm expecting it to. So I turn around and run the other way. I'm like, all right, I just must have come off the wrong spot. But I didn't. It was I was right the first time. So uh, here, once we get all the way down, straight ahead should be 
the guy we're looking for, but it wasn't there. So I turn around and I run and I'm like, wait a minute. He's not down here either. And I'm running out of the zones, so turn around. And I'm confident at this point. And look at that. He's right up there. So maybe it was just my bad eyes didn't see him. Maybe he was there. I actually should probably go back and look at the edit. Regardless, user error. We'll claim it. Pork patrol c -c 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 complete. So uh, hopefully you officially got all 20 of those bad boys. And if you did, you're going to get a plus five on the Kyber Brickage. So look at that. We are home stretch. We legit have 14 Kyber Bricks left in the galaxy. And just in case you were wondering, Pork Patrol is officially completed. Nowhere left to go. Good job. High fives all around. Much love to y'all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button down below. Always feel free to check us out on social media. HappyThumbsGaming.com is the home of our product and gaming reviews, as well as our trophy achievement guides. Definitely look at our guides there. In fact, we even have a quick link list to all of our playlists for Lego games. So if you're looking for Lego content, we got you covered all in one spot. As always, until next time. So